Hello friends, welcome back to the second part of the video on accounting concepts, conventions and principles. In the first part of the video, we have already discussed about the four important accounting concepts that is money measurement, business entity, dual aspect and periodicity concept. In this video, we are going to discuss about the remaining accounting concepts starting with realization concept. So let us start with the fifth important accounting concept that is realization or revenue recognition concept. So as per realization concept, revenue or income of the business to be recorded in the books only when it is actually realized. See, only promise for order from customer cannot be recorded in the books of account. Even order received from customer cannot be recorded in the books of account until it is executed. So, as per this accounting concept, revenue or income can be recorded in the books only when it is actually realized, right? Now, let us move on the next accounting concept that is matching concept. So, as per this accounting concept, expenses paid or incurred for one accounting period should be matched with income of that accounting period only, right? like salary rate insurance etc are recorded on the basis of period to which they relate and not on the basis of when they are actually paid right so basically as per matching concept expenses paid for one accounting period are matched with the income of that accounting period only right Next accounting concept is accrual concepts. As per this accounting concept, expenses and revenues to be recorded in the books as incurred and earned respectively and not, not on the date of payment and receipt. See, if we have incurred expenses related to a particular time period, we should record those expenses for that time period only and not on the basis of actual payment of expenses right to understand this concept let us take a situation if rent is paid for 11 months only the rent for remaining one month will be recorded in the books though it is not paid generally we record this uh, unpaid rent uh, uh, for one month as outstanding rent because it is related to the accounting period for which profit or loss is to be asserted, right? So, as per this concept, it is required that expenses and revenues to be recorded in the books as incurred and earned respectively, right? And we should not think about the date of payment of actual expenses and the date of actual receipts of the income or revenue right next accounting concept is about the consistency as per this accounting concept there should be consistency in the accounting policies and practices which are followed in the presentation and preparation of the accounting statement continuity in application of accounting policies and practices helps to compare the results of the business right if there is any change uh, in the accounting policies or practices that change is required to be disclosed right so as per this accounting concept business requires to follow the accounting policies and practices continuously without any changes in those policies and practices right next accounting concept or next accounting principle is conservatism principle this principle is also known as prudence principle as per this principle business should provide for all possible losses but profit should not be recorded until it is realized right because of this concept only we provide for doubtful debts we make provision for various losses but 
this principle does not allow us to anticipate and record possible profit until it is recorded. In simple words, as per conservatism principle, business should provide for all possible losses but should not anticipate the profits and record them in the books of accounts. Right. So this principle says that play safe. Play safe means provide for all possible losses but don't anticipate profits. Right. Next accounting concept is about the materiality. So as per this accounting concept, accounting should be focused on material facts. It means on important facts. Right. Inse insignificant details can be ignored. There is no need to give importance to insignificant details. Right. For example, a stock of pen, pencil, erasers, scales, etc. can be recorded as a stationary. Right. There is no need to mention about the number of pencil, erasers, pens. Okay. It means those facts which are not significant or important can be ignored while maintaining the books of account as per materiality concept. Next accounting concept is going concern concept. As per this accounting concept, it is assumed that business firm would be continued for a long period of time. There is no possibility that business is going to dissolve in the immediate future. Right? It is like we assume that we are going to live for a long period of time and accordingly we plan our future right so this same thing is applied for the business as per going concern concept right uh, as uh, because of this concept we provide depreciation on assets over a period of time and not whole amount of asset is charged as an expense for a particular accounting period right so asset purchase is a uh, charge over a long period of time through the depreciation right next accounting concept is historical cost concept as per this accounting concept all assets are to be recorded in the books of account at their purchase price that cost price includes cost of acquisition transportation and installation and making asset ready for use right so this concept requires that we should record asset at that historical cost only. The historical cost of an asset is the basis for all further accounting of that particular asset. Like we charge uh, depreciation on that historical cost only. Right. So, so students, uh, we have finished with uh, the important accounting concepts here. So if you like the video, uh, you should think about the subscription to our channel and uh, like and share this video with your friends thank you